Dr. Mark Changizi here with your science moment. Today I'm going to talk about follow the money. This is often thought to be one of the best pieces of advice in terms of understanding large-scale trends in the world or in some kind of thing that you know that I'm worried about. In the case of COVID and the resultant uh, measures, a lot of folks will say you just got to follow the money. Now, this is extremely unhelpful in situations like this. And this camera's wiggling like crazy here. It's extremely unhelpful. So you have to ask yourself, who's someone who's been making a lot of money since the start of this, or at least since July of last year? Well, folks that make masks, face masks. Now, do you think the folks that make face masks are the ones that are behind this? No, of course not. How about Amazon? Amazon has been doing really well since this happened. Do you think that means that Amazon is the one who decided to make everybody go hysterical or is purposely trying to cause this kind of reactions that all these, you know, uh, controlling the journalists and controlling uh, public officials and academics everywhere? No. What happens when these sorts of events happen, when there's panic and there's fear and there's hysteria and there's suddenly all of these changes to how things have to function, and there's, you can think of it as there being vacuums. Suddenly vacuums appear and Amazon takes that over. They fill the vacuum. And there's a tons and tons of other vacuums that appear and different kinds of companies move into those vacuums that have been created. These are consequences. These are effects, not causes. So when you follow the money in a situation like this, you're very easily going to confuse cause and effect. And the whole point is to try to understand the cause of what happened last March, not just focus on the effects. And follow the money has no ability to distinguish between the two. And that was your science moment.